Yeah, that was a rough year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that was a... Well, rough. you're out of the muck now, dude. Yeah, you I, know? I have my own show, which is good. It's yeah. got sketches, and I'm, I'm yeah. it's nice. It's building. It's growing. It's and awesome. I'm, I'm getting out of it, and it's yeah. sort of... Dude, it's just... It's fucking weird. Like, you and I had a show, and then Shane, and we were growing out of that. Yeah. And I, I, dude, and I know people say all this shit about Anthony, but he gave me a very good break. Yeah. Yeah. And I love Anthony, and I know a lot of people have their issues, mainly because Yeah, he was great to us. Yeah. He was great yeah. to me. So, yeah, but like you know, you needed a break from the heavy political. Well, I was conservative never conservative dog shit because you're not that guy. Dude, I was never yeah. political. I yeah, just, I was. On, I went on the Artie and Anthony show because it was Artie and Anthony. Yeah, yeah, same. And that's what I don't get. And then people are like, "What? Why are you on that show?" Yeah, it's like, you mean the legends from yeah. radio? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you mean the thing? Oh, yeah, you guys. Dude, I like that. still listen to their stuff. It's on, like YouTube. I'll just listen to old Opie and Anthony episodes. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. And, and then if I, I mean, when Shane, and I started it, and then Shane, when Shane moved to New York, it was Shane and I, and then Shane was just getting too busy, and then Dave would be a guest on of ours, like, here and there, and he's he was like, dude, I love doing your show, I just like to do your show after ours, if that's cool, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. And he did it so consistently that he's like, I'd like to do a co-host, you don't have to give me a dollar, I just want to... Because, like, I, dude, I feel like you also saw, like, I, <clears throat> I want to just have fun and not have everything be so... Conservatively, politically, yeah. fucking. Well, do people down my also throat. forget how quickly things went insane? Yeah, you know what I mean. It was like 2015; everything was fine. Yeah, <laughs> and then by 2017, <laughs> it was like crazy. Yeah, car I lost friends over. Front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was, uh, well, it was so odd because Shane hosted for me uh, in Philadelphia. No, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. That's where I first met Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, this guy's great. He's doing Louis C.K., but yeah, he's yeah. great. Yeah. But yeah. You could was see it like 2015? The... In there, maybe? 14? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but he was phenomenal, but you could see this potential, this like ball yeah, of potential. Yeah. And then, I, but you just, I don't know, there's something about him where you just knew he was going to be a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he came out there, like immediately when you two came on, I was like, I didn't know what a fair one was, and you guys came on Anthony's mm -hmm. show. I was like, yeah. oh, Shane. Yeah. Like, and uh, we immediately clicked because yeah. I, I it was great to just see him again yeah yeah and then we clicked immediately yeah and it was just so great to see him skyrocket and then watching that utter bullshit happen to him yeah i think that's w such a great thing to watch him pivot into i guess this level of superstardom that i've really never seen somebody be able to bounce back oh, into yeah, it's crazy i've yeah. never i i can't believe the pivot he was able to take yeah I dropped a tear when he came out on SNL. It's, Chris and I yeah, saw him oh, live. Dude, yeah, I yeah, saw you yeah, guys in the like, studio. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? It's the dude. only time I've watched SNL since he was actually kicked off of it. Same. Oh, d oh 100%. Same. Yeah. It is also, it was a, we were joking that it's like, it literally is like the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he goes inside of the agent at the end and like blows them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I remember telling him though too on like the, one of the first times he was on Anthony's show. I go, you have that John Candy appeal, and he's like, you said I'm fucking John Candy. Yeah, and I, you got like pissed, and I go like jokingly, of course. Yeah, and I was like, no, dude. I go, that's the good thing about you. Yeah, I'm like, you have that vulnerability and that like SCTV thing, that like likability that yep. that is missing. Now. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, that's something that like SNL is missing that they're gonna see. He's got the you. charm yeah. of an everyman, yeah. and then the the brilliant wit. Of no man, and then <laughs> you know Lauren I mean? Michael saw it. Yeah, and I was like, "See, fucking, see, I told you somebody would see that." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 he it got it. Inevitable. Yeah. Some fan that show made. I know this because a fan made a a meme of Ch Shane as John Candy and me as uh, fuck. Who was it? Robin Williams. I can see that as a pi as a pirate. I don't know. I'll look it up. It's on my wall yeah. still. Because it made. It, it, that's how I saw him too. Yeah, and it always made sense that he was like going to be this yeah this thing because he was likable and he was yeah. real yeah and it was I I just remember that bird call guy and just me and me and Anthony immediately just going a fucking off on that show wait the, what show and uh, oh 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 Seth on, on, uh, yeah the bird call is that his name yeah Seth uh, don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> it's sick. Oh, me and Anthony were just like, we should pull all episodes. Uh, but we uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, at this point, who gives yeah, a shit? Yeah. I think no, it doesn't matter. But I mean, uh, Anthony, where credits do, was like, let's just get rid of lots of stuff. Yeah. And let's make sure. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> well, why? But if if that worked, anything could work. And also, where I think where comedy has come since that 
there's a lot of people just like, yeah, even the the, the hard left is kind of like, it's funny. <laughs> you know well, what I mean? Who like, cares as long yeah, as it's it not the N-word momentum, or yeah. something so ridiculously violent or malicious in your intent to joke, it's like, dude, now it's different these days, I think, a little bit. Well, like, last night... You know, I was watching you on stage. You're fantastic. You know, you go oh, up on thanks, stage, man. but it's yeah. not like you're doing anything that's deliberately supposed to be shocking. And I'm going up yeah. after you doing something that's not it's not supposed to be shocking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Lamar. Lamar right? yeah, 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 yeah. He's not doing it. Like, it's just comedy. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we're not going up there trying to offend anybody. I'm just There's talking no fucking about... message here. I'm not recruiting. No, yeah. it's like, but I'm just talking about my life. Yeah. And the crowd's loving it. And that's all I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that. That's what bothered me, I guess, a lot about the sour grapes of what happened. Was yeah. it's like, dude, you make bird calls. That's the fucking problem. It's yeah. no one else's fault that you chose to suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's sucking so yeah. bad, you take it out on yeah. everybody. Right? Like, don't blame him that you're not going farther in this. Yeah. But it was that thing. It was like also that 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 Trump era, like when he started to come up. Everyone, it was like. It was a war of the worlds thing. Everyone turned every every sentence into like, "Are you on? Which side are you on?" Yeah, it, like it became a gigantic yeah it was thing, like, and it was so fast. Like I said, I I like I had like my some of my best friends in comedy that just stopped talking to me because I like liked Shane. I like liked the sketch. <laughs> I liked the sketch that he made. Oh, it was like God. crazy. That's hilarious. Yeah. But it was just that what time a everyone was like what a a with us or against us kind of thing. Well, I remember a lot mm. of Philly And now people. none of those people are and, doing and comedy like, and they're comedy. I'm not with it. I just liked what they made. I liked the thing. What? Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember a lot of Philly people being douches about it. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Well, and then the second I got on Crowder, like I left Anthony's show specifically because I thought he was moving to South Carolina. And then a lot of people decided to stir up this other stuff about how, you know, it, whatever. I sent an email, blah blah blah. I'm like, it's none. Of, it, I just I left because I have a family and I was trying to find something else. I probably should have known more about what Crowder was before I jumped <laughs> on the bandwagon. Probably should have uh, did a Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, I was doing a guest show, and at the time, it was more pajamas than yeah. guns. But, yeah, yeah. And I, look, I don't have a problem with guns or anything, but I. I just I'm not a far right extremist person at all. Yeah. Right. But I am somebody who believes in comedy. Yeah. And saying whatever you want yeah, yeah. that you think is funny. Yeah. And that was my job on the show. And you have that feeling where you're like, it's a huge platform and I can just be myself. It doesn't matter what the other guy's saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I'm, well, it did. I so mean that's it, fine. And people yeah. turned on me though. Like I lost Re real friends. Dude, I I paid a guy's rent so he didn't lose his like I, I paid a not rent, but I paid a guy's mortgage so he didn't lose his house during COVID. Yeah. Immediately taking pictures pictures of me and video off of that show to try to take food off my kids table saying what a horrible person I was for being on that show. I had people that I had gotten work for over the years who wouldn't have yeah. had a career without me turn on me, you know, because I was on that show. Like, dude, the number of people that just would stab me in the back because I was on that show, it was, it, dude, it was fucking astonishing. Dude, it's, it's like also one of those things. I remember saying this at the time and it's like going to be so weird when you're like, 20 years from now when you don't talk to like your best friend anymore yeah and they're gonna be like what happened they're like carter administration <laughs> <laughs> like what yeah, yeah. A guy liked carter <laughs> yeah it's like what? whereas like i think old school days it's like my like my dad doesn't have friends it's probably like you just get to a point where you're like ah, i don't feel like getting in the car well, you know what i mean like dude, i'm tired well, that's a good today. reason not yeah. to be friends <laughs> yeah. with someone anymore well and my, with Let's my be mad at them with my dad and i always said my genuine honest experience was like I grew up my dad taught me a lot about history conspiracy not because he was nuts because of what he experienced with the war himself yeah and he was a huge history buff like we would go to Gettysburg we would go to all these places when we were young because that's, cool. that's what he wanted to teach me yeah so I grew up learning about all that stuff and a lot of the papers that I didn't do well on in school was because I was putting down fact and not necessarily what they were teaching me right yeah and but that's what I love to learn as a kid mm. and you know, as I as I get older, you, you know, and I look at, I don't know, just the way that I that I went into these things and the way that I had an opinion, it was because I watched the government kill my father. Yeah. And I watched them take no accountability for it. I watched them drain his bank account, give him absolutely nothing. Jesus fucking My dad Christ. came from nothing in Detroit, made, uh, fucking <sighs> orphaned, make all the money himself, lose every dollar he made. and then he got I, drafted. Yeah, and lose all the money that he made, and then that led to my mom's suicide. Oh my god! So then, when you lead, 
when it goes to me to go onto that show, I'm saying that I have distrusted the government for these reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah. people have the audacity to be like, oh, so you're right wing and crazy. No, I'm very anti all of it because I don't believe a word any of and them say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something happened to me. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like what? something happened to me that affects my. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Just, hey, thanks for watching the clip. If you want to see the full episode of me and my pal here fucking off, uh, click here. Like and subscribe to this channel. Also, like and subscribe to our regular podcast channel, Stuff Island. Stuff Island. Uh, and then we got Patreon.com where there's hundreds of hours of like more stuff. We got cooking stuff. We got VR stuff. So check that out on uh, Patreon.com. Patreon.com? Patreon.com slash Stuff Island.